Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued buying Let's Play Ace Attorney Apollo Justice the Remastered Trilogy for the PS5. My name is The Play is Better, this is your Sword Base Gaming Channel, we're not gonna waste any time. Today, final episode of game number four, or to me, game number six, but you know, game number four in this series. Let's do this. I believe the defense's bluff has been called. The defense's bluff. I'm not sure I agree with you there, Christophe. Caclavier. Honestly, I wanted to believe you. But the defense wasn't trying to get away with the bluff. You were Christophe. What are you saying? Prosecutor Gavin? Hair for head. What was your accusation again? Huh? Oh, it was that, um... This poison stomp killed to Misham, ya. Yeah. To which my brother responded thusly. There was no way to know when Misham would use the stomp. Well, yes, that's right. Which is why it couldn't have been planned. Tell me. It needs to be planned. Why? Uh... Why couldn't it have been a coincidence? The defense's case is simply that Dumasham died by that stop. That's all. Coincidence? Christophe, you tried to slip out from under his accusation by changing the subject. If that's not bluffing, then what is it? Hmm. What are you up to, Clavier? I could ask you the same question, Christophe. Heh. <laughs> I silence the defense with the fewest words possible. It's called efficiency. But, but Mr. Gavin, that's impermi interper impermissible testimony. Very well. I shall take his claim head on then. Justice. Yeah? What? You accuse me of doing Michelle's murder, yes? Then allow me to ask you. What, po what possible reason could I have to kill a pig death? Apollo, motive? He's talking about a motive? Hmm, indeed. It's hard to see how an attorney could come want to want to kill a painter. Now, here's something. Why didn't he bring out the motive from the very beginning? Unless he was afraid it was a battle he might lose. So what does it mean? It means there might be a weak spot. Maybe I have some evidence to prove a motive. Murder for murder. This is a vital, if not the most vital element in this case. Please consider this when making your statement. I'd say it's about this vital. Yikes, that's pretty vital. Well, Mr. Justice. <sighs> I'm going through with this no matter what. Understood, Your Honor. I like to present evidence. Hmm. Now then, let's see what you have for us. What reason did Christoph Gavin have for wanting to murder to Misham? I need, I need evidence. I need, um... I need, um, need evidence. What's in the paper? With the money? I mean, the blackmail seems to be the only There's an address on here, and a name I've never heard of. At least, I think so. It's too blurry to read. This is David. David. Chrisley? David Chris. Could that say top? No. Chrisley? Crystal? Then Drew Misham sign here. It's gotta be the red envelope. I can't think of any other thing except money. Christoph Gavin's money becomes clear. When we consider why this stamp came to Drew Misham's studio in the first place. 
And uh, what was that? Forgery, your honor. Go back seven years. Jumishim accepts his first job creating forged evidence. I've uh, seen that before. Page from a diary, wasn't it? Magnified Grammarie's diary. Ah, then Attorney Phoenix Vite lost his badge, yes. This was the evidence he presented to his boss. This evidence is a fake, yes. But did Mr. Wright request the forgery be made? That was never proven. Objection! The defense attorney on that case was Phoenix Wright. Who, who, other than him, drunk with the prospect of victory could have done it? And why would they? Hmm. Just out of curiosity. Do you remember this letter? This is the first page. And this is the second. Those were presented in court yesterday. This letter was sent to Duke Michigan by the client who requested the forgery. The enclosed stamp was none other than the poison criminal stamp. Drew Misham drew his last breath just the other day. However, the motive for his murder was already seven years old. Seven years old? The client who requested this forgery was very cautious. He tried to erase everything and anyone with connections to the forgery. To keep them from talking? But he made a mistake. The stamp was a picture of my favorite magician, so I kept it. Father took me when I was very young. It was a great magic show. I loved it so much. The killer's time bomb was delayed. The poison stamp was sealed within a glass frame, where it sat for seven whole years. Hair for head. Do you understand what you're telling us? Huh? The one who schemed up the forged diary page was the one who poisoned the stomp. And it was Phoenix Wright who presented the forged evidence seven years ago. Adding the two statements together, the one who schemed to kill Drew Misham was none other than Phoenix Wright. Oh, come on, Clavier. Seriously, dude. I mean, you totally missed the whole idea there. No, the one who put the... The one who created the forgery was the one who put the stamp. Come on. Come on. Sorry, but that's not how this is going to go down. Oh, then how will it go down? I checked through the records on that case when I found this. Seven years ago, just before the trial began. Oh, oh boy. Um, uh, here. What's this? I don't know. I just got it over there in the hall. They told me to give it to the old boy in the blue suit with the spiky hair. And one more thing. I'm sorry to have sprung this on you so suddenly. I received. I received the files from your previous attorney only yesterday. I understand. I'm asking the impossible of you. Yes, well, you haven't really told me what happened yet. All we did was play cards. And that was enough. Phoenix Wright was put on the case the day before the trial started. He didn't have time to request a forgery. Ah, good point. The day before. Now, here's a question. Just who was Shady Enigma's previous defense attorney? Huh. No, this can't all be. But it is all true. There was one another man. A defense attorney with a badge on his collar. It was you, Christoph Gavin. Order, order, order. What is the meaning of this? Witness, I mean, defendant, I mean, a uh, former lawyer, you. Let me begin by denying this. Objection! It's easy enough to look up, Mr. Gavin. And impossible to prove it if you can't. Huh? Attorneys are registered with the court the day before the trial begins. In other words, no record remains in the court. How exactly did you intend to prove Phoenix Wright's claim? Hmm, that would be difficult. Pray this line of inquiry won't yield. Objection! Hair for head. 
Are you sure you don't have evidence? Huh? What's wrong, Prosecutor Gavin? You look so clammy. Evidence. Evidence that shows this man, Christoph Gavin, requested that forgery seven years ago. Clavier. Just prove it. Clear up those doubts now, or I swear I'm off this case. He must have thought of some evidence, Apollo. Oscar to Gavin looks like he's in a physical pain. That darkness. I have to pull that darkness out of him and proof is the only way I can. What proves Christoph Gavin's link to Drew Misham? Well, Mr. Justice, claim Christoph Gavin requested a forgery at Drew Misham seven years ago. Prove it. It can't be proven. Mm -hmm. Look at that look. It's like he knows. He knows everything that's going to happen. You know what? You know what? You're going down. Simply ridiculous. Why even discuss it? This evidence does not. Objection! Are you telling the truth, the Apollo Trustees? I am. Then. Then I say we give him the benefit of the doubt. Hey, they call me Hair Forehead. You all know that? Very well. But if you're wrong about this, be prepared for a penalty. Objection! We can't all object, okay? You need to calm your role. Your Honor, you do the defense and the justice. Mr. Justice is clearly passionate about his claim. Should the penalty not match? Oh my god! Should the penalty not match his passion? Oh yeah, I haven't given a penalty like that in a long time. Well, Mr. Justice. Fine, Your Honor. All I have to do is prove any kind of link. Any kind of link, any kind of link. Some of that ties. Oh, 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 oh! I said this earlier! Some of that ties Christoph Gavin to Drew Misham. It's the yellow letter. The one we found in the other uh, cell. That that connects the two. And I have something that clearly does job. I, I presented this evidence earlier. I, I put it at the wrong time, which I do quite often. Very well, Mr. Justice, present your evidence. Show us the link between a witness and two machine. Take that! This evidence proves there's a link. Objection! That scrap of paper. I'm afraid I can't let you submit that. Is there some problem? There is. How could you possibly have that? You couldn't. Huh? Hey, that's daddy's handwriting. Wait, what? What? Mr. Wright's handwriting? What is the meaning of this? Ah, I see now. Yes, of course. What do you mean, of course? Did he just play me? I just remembered I had a visitor yesterday. Phoenix Wright came to my cell, except I wasn't there. Phoenix Vite. But every time, I saw he had something of mine in his possession. Of course, I had no intention to let him get away with reading my private mail. Mail? You mean this letter was in your cell? No. However, it appears Mr. Vite has had a, has yet to be cured of his bad forging habit. Well, it is a forgery. It's not a very good one. Anyway, it's terrible. This is Mr. Wright's reproduction was written in the real letter. Reproduction? When Mr. Wright uh, visited Chris Gavin's cell, he brought with him a small video camera. But, ooh, that's what that was. I, I didn't realize that was a recording at first. I just thought it was a cool zoom out. Or a weird zoom out. He recorded his entire conversation with you, Mr. Gavin. And the contents of your personal mail. Ah. <sighs> But regardless, this mark we have a piece of evidence but never be accepted by the court. Evidence based on a video a man with the authority for whatever claims he took. A man who happens to be an ex-attorney suspected of forgery. Hmm. Prosecutor Gavin. <sighs> Prosecutor Gavin? As embarrassing as it is for this for me to say, I'm afraid my brother is incapable of making rational judgments at the moment. Your honor, your decision, if you please. Oh man, he is staring daggers at me right now. He 
Did you set me up? No, no, he didn't set me up because we set him up because we have the video footage. Hmm. The fence's claim is denied. What? Only actual evidence to permit in a court of law. Please remove the defense's evidence on the record. Better luck next time, Justice. Ah. Are we screwed here? Well, we've certainly taken a detour from our cross-examination. But the defense appears to be lacking proof. I'm forced to end the cross-examination of Chris Gavin at this point. Apollo, do something. I'm thinking, but without evidence, I don't have anything I can use on him. Very well, it sends the special witnesses cross examination. Objection! Here a moment for Clavier! Yes, that's what I'm talking about! The show's over, yet the cloud screams for Ma. Only now do I understand why. Prosecutor Gavin? Frankly, I'm believed. This has been bothering me for seven whole years. And I'm tired of the whole youthful angst scene. Now's our chance. Let's clean out the family closet, eh, Christophe? Clavier, you're spinning out of control. Calm yourself before you say something that you'll regret. Spinning out of whose control? Mine or yours? Take a moment to consider everything that you built. Your reputation as a prosecutor. Your fame with the masses. You could lose it all, Clavier. Apollo, did you see that? He's trying to press Prosecutor Gavin. Prosecutor Gavin, try to remember what's really important to you. You amused me half her head. I couldn't forget what's really important to me even if I tried. Huh? In fact, I haven't. Not even once. Seven years ago. Finally. You just couldn't resist, could you have, right? Resist what? Presenting solid evidence? My I declare they put the code of class examination on hold? The prosecution would like to call a new witness. State your name and occupation for the record. Did Christoph... Did Christoph give the hot tip? I'm familiar with the trial. I've watched the video several times. Did you find anything unnatural about it? Unnatural? Well, you did seem unusually well prepared. I mean, Mr. Wright had only just presented his evidence. And the next moment you call Andrew Misham. It was almost as if... Almost as if that. Funny, it didn't even occur to me to wonder. But now that I do, I see there's only one possible explanation. Almost as if, from the very beginning, you knew Mr. Wright was going to present that evidence. Ah! Correct. Huh? I knew that if I applied the usual placer, Phoenix Vive would eventually come up with that forged study page. Don't do this, Clavier. I knew because you told me, Christophe. What? What? It was the night before the trial. Clavier. Christophe, I had seen at the Pascal's office the day before the trial. Look at this picture. Ah, I would be appearing in the trial, actually. Ah, oh, it looks so cool. Ah, oh, why not? I would be facing off with you on your first trial, apparently. But in exchange, I bought information. Information? The attorney who will be there in my place tomorrow is not to be trusted. Don't even give him the benefit of your respect. Listen. I want you to call in a special witness. Then, whisper, whisper, whisper. I wondered about it all the time. How did Kristoff know so much? Prosecutor Gavin? Kristoff, 
They were supposed to face each other in that trial. A fair fight, brother to brother. I deserve that much. You let me borrow the victim's belongings. You showed me all your research on the case. The victim's belongings? Which would have also included Magnify's diary, wouldn't it? Hmm. 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 Mr. Gavin. My, my, Clavier. You disappoint me. You find trees, yet miss the forest. You're the... You're the one missing the forest, Mr. Gavin. Huh. You can't sweep this under the rug. Not anymore. Tell me what was going on behind that tire. Hmm. Why not? I've achieved what I came here to do. I see no harm in a little reminiscing. Hello? I think we're finally going to shine a light on the black belly of this thing, Trucy. We've done everything we could. I hope it's enough. Seven years ago, the day before the trial, I visited the detention center at the request of my client, Zach Kremervi. Two cards. One card. Showdown time. Enough. You lose, Gavin. Thanks for the work. Now go. Oh, we played him in car? To be honest, I didn't know what his reasons were to this day. As far as I could tell, he dismissed me as his representation because I lost in the game of poker. I could come to no other conclusion. Daddy used to say something. If you want to know, man, you have to compete. Zack wasn't watching his points. Or the cards. He was watching the man behind the cards. Christoph Gavin. I couldn't believe it. Phoenix White. A second fate attorney who relies on luck and bluffs. He dismissed me and went with that pitiful excuse for a man. He deserved to die for that error alone. Jealousy? Hold it. So the one who requested that forgery was... Oh, I'm not admitting to anything. My point is simply that these two men shamed me and I could not forgive that. Phoenix Fight and Sakura maybe both deserved what they got. So he asked for Mr. Misham to forge that evidence. So he could win. But then, when you were dismissed as Zach Grimley's attorney, you used your forged evidence as a trap. You fed me information about the forgery that you made. Then you gave your dirty evidence to him. You're free to imagine what you will. My point is that all I had imagined came to pass. Everything went perfectly. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Incredible. If I wasn't laughing, I'd be... Was it a Gavin? Perfectly. You're mad, Kristoff. Stop fooling yourself. What are you talking about, Clavier? Tell me, how did that trial end? Cancel. When the defendant vanished. Ah, I get it. So, Kristoff... You've been living in fear for seven years. What? You were afraid your forgery would be revealed and your reputation trashed. You couldn't leave things to chance. So you watched everyone involved with the case for seven years. You know, I always felt like it was being watched, you know? That's what he said, every day for seven years. But I feel it too! Jealous, sure he is being watched, again, quote. Don't you wonder why Zach Grimmery got rubbed out after seven years? Right after coming into contact with me? Wait just a minute. Zach Grimmery was seen by this reporter? How is that possible? Was he alive after being gone for seven years? Huh. Finally. I knew this moment was coming. I just didn't think we'd get here so fast. Zach Grimmery, gone missing for seven years, Trucy's father. 
What's wrong, Apollo? Go get him! Right. Leave it to me. Allow me to refresh the quartz's memory. Six months ago, Christoph Gavin was charged with murdering a mysterious traveler. I remember him quite well. Chitty Smith, was it? Poisoned in a Chinese restaurant. It was tragic. The details don't really matter right now. What matters is that traveler was that Grimmery. Huh? What? What is it, Apollo? Huh? Keep going. We'll talk about it later. Wow, she's just... Dang, Trucy. All right, did, did she already know? Yeah, that, she had to have already known. Someone please explain this. Mr. Justice, can you explain this? It all started seven years ago. The great magician magnified Grimory's death started it. Magnified Grimory's death and his student, Zach Grimory, the suspect. Whoever defended Zack in court successfully would be famous beyond belief. Thinking that, Christoph Gavin did the unthinkable. He forged evidence. Do you miss him? Actually, it was his daughter, Farrah, who really did all the work. You took precautions when he had a forgery made, didn't you, Mr. Gavin? Cautions? To keep people from talking, of course. These two know too much. Leave them alive and there'll be nothing but trouble. That's when he planned your poison of the forgers. Ah, to Quinine. Apply to a commemorative to stomp. But luck was on Mr. Misham's side. The bomb didn't go off. His daughter. She, she saves him by taking the stamp, I see. Hmm. But that wasn't the only bomb he set up. The ordinary nail polish, of course. You notice something when he requested that forgery. When Vera Misham was nervous, she has a bad habit. A tendency to bite her nails. Ah! That nail polish was a good luck charm. Oh, she was almost kidnapped once. Since then, she's been well, you can see for yourself. She refuses to leave the house. That person gave me a good luck charm for when I absolutely had to go outside. It protects me. Oh, yes, apparently she received something, a gift. She won't tell me what it was. It was from that client, the one who wanted that note made. It was his insurance. So, as long, but the thing was, she never went outside. So she hasn't used it for seven years. That's why she still had stuff in it. Insurance? As long as she lived quietly at home, there was no danger to her. But what if she had to go outside? If she ran into any trouble, she'd become nervous. And then they'll polish, but do the vest. His time bomb sat there for seven years. And then they went off almost simultaneously. If you're finished, may I return to my cell now? I'm not accustomed to standing for such long periods of time. Mr. Gavin, have you heard a single thing we said? Oh, I listened quite closely to your little tale. It's quite an entertaining piece of fiction. What? Clavier, show that you understand. Ah. Uh, we are back to the evidence, the lacking evidence. Nothing proves a link between him and the Arctic Nine that took to Miss Sham's life. Objection! What about the restaurant? You killed Zach Grammary. To keep him from talking. I killed the man of that name. Read over the report again if you like. The victim was a traveler by the name of Shadi Smith, about whom we know little else. You can't seriously think I knew he was a particular fugitive. Objection! Okay, then why did you kill him? I plead my right to remain silent. Remember, this court did not convene me to put me on trial. 
The defense name is Vera Misham, suspected in the murder of her father. My tire's been finished for six months now. Hmm. I'm afraid we have stayed considerably far from our purpose here. This court concurs with the witness. It is defendant Vera Misham who's on trial here. No, but you're doing so well, Apollo. As long as there is no evidence to support the accusation against him, this course of inquiry cannot find very mischief innocent. Objection! Your Honor, Phoenix Wright spent seven years collecting this evidence. Objection! You still don't get it, do you? Huh? Let us assume there was poison in the nail polish. Who then was responsible for causing very mischief to bite her nails? What? It wasn't me, I know that much. The one who brought that poison to her lips was you. What? What? This guy's so evil. Evidence is everything, there's nothing more. I believe this discussion has reached its conclusion. Your Honor! This suggests you have performed admirably well for a novice attorney. I respect your partner, Phoenix Wright's determination as well. How However, without direct proof, you have nothing. Isn't that right, Cavier? Unfortunately, yes, Kristoff. You're right. That is, you could have been right until now. Oh ho ho! Go get him! Go get him! What? Did the news not beat your desk in solitary? The eyes of the nation are on this courtroom today. This is the trial case for a new judicial system. Hmm? Huh? That's right! I totally forgotten! The jury system. Jurist, you say? The current judicial system is deemed to close off from society. This new system attempts to inject the wisdom of common citizens into the law. Common citizens? Wisdom? This is some kind of joke. What could we possibly gain from doing this? It does a judicial system to remind us of a mob of irrational mouth breathers. Wow, that was how you really feel. Common citizens have something called common sense. Common sense is not restricted by the law. Nonsense. There's only room for the two for two in this court. Me and the law. Wow, he's really breaking down now. Get the VFF out. Out, I say. They're not in the court, actually. They're watching everything by video camera. H how can you allow this? Incidentally, the one responsible for making this happen was Phoenix, right? Go suck an egg. Fe Phoenix, fight! I love that. I thought that was gonna be some more that. He was just like, done. <laughs> All the buildup and everything, they're just done. So, everything was leading to this, of course. Fight. 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 Oh my god. Accepted. I can't accept. This is no court. Law. The law is everything. Law is absolute. You let ignorance find spy your courts. Christoph, it's over. Clavia. The law is absolute. You can't be serious. F what? Odd. I thought you spent your life looking for the poles. The law isn't absolute. It's filled with contradictions. Law is the end product of many years of history, the fruit of human knowledge. Like a gem, polished to a gleam through trials and errors. It is this fruit we receive and pass on and face in our time. It is always changing and growing, nurturing in its hard task of human beings. Except for you, Kristoff. You aren't changing, you've stopped. 
You don't need it anymore. Oh, sorry, that's Clavier, not Kristoff, sorry. You're not needed anymore. <laughs> I, I couldn't think of anything to say. Maybe because I still haven't seen enough. But someday, I'll know what law is. And I'll fight to change it if I have to. I see no need to further prolong this trial. This began as a trial of mere mission accused of murdering her father. The pioneer at true mission, however, Several other incidents were reviewed, and we seem to have reached a conclusion. Hmm. Before this court declares a verdict, I await your decision. Jurors of the court. For the death of Drew Misham, how do you find the defendant Vera Misham? Innocent or guilty? I turn to you now to consider this matter. October 9, 12.48 p.m., Jurors Chambers. The sense of trial for this case, only the verdict remains to be cited. Defendant Vera Misham is currently in intensive care. If a decision cannot be reached today, it may never be reached. The factors involved are simple. Did the defendant poison her father that night? If so, she is guilty. Or was there another reason for Mr. Misham's death? Did another po person poison him? If so, she is innocent. A panel has been provided for each of you to input your decisions. That is all. Please, wait! Yes, jurist number six? There's something in the jurist handbook here. Persons involved with the case may not be jurists. That is correct. I've looked into all of your dossiers. None of you were involved with the development of the case. With the development of the case? I see. Does that answer your concern? It's time for your verdicts. Make a decision in the case against Vera Misham. After seven years, the truth is ready to be heard. Judge wisely, judge well. I don't understand that. What was that about the, um... Wait. That's... That's Lamoror! Or Thalassa! Whoa. Oh, I'm controlling her? I'm controlling her? This is weird. Is there some alternate ending if you select guilty? You know, I gotta try it. Because I haven't saved in a while. So, most likely it's gonna come back to this. If this is like normal games. And so a verdict was reached on October 9 to 14 p.m. The first verdict under the jury system. A hung jury. The final verdict would have to wait for the following day. But fate had different plans. That night, dependent Vera Mischief's condition worsened. She died in her hospital bed. Her verdict was postponed for eternity. One jurist's verdict. But she isn't guilty. Aha. I knew you had to do that. Come on, you had to do that. But now the problem is, um, when did the autosave happen? Because, because I may have to go through a lot here. No, I don't think I do. Okay, I don't. I don't have to go through a lot here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll, I'll see you at the verdict. Okay, we're back here. Of course, not guilty. How did she get into the jerk? Phoenix must have manipulated that too. And so verdict was reached October 9 to 14 p.m. First verdict under the jury system. Innocent by unanimous decision. The record will show that when the verdict was announced, special witness Christoph Gavin laughed. A laugh louder than any ever heard before or since. 
This guy is completely insane. A laugh that echoed in the halls of justice, lingering for what seemed like hours. October 10th, 8.30 a.m., the morning after the trial. In an intensive care ward, a true miracle occurred. Baramashim opened her eyes. Hey! Yes! So on the, um, the true ending, she survived. October 10th, 10, 12 a.m., Hickfield Clinic. Victory music! Vera, I'm so glad I... Don't cry, Apollo. I'm happy too, and proud. You did well, Apollo. When I thought about what if Vera, I... Hey now, don't you start crying too. Um, sorry you had to see us like this. Huh? Look at that smile. But Vera? Thank you so much, Apollo. Thank you. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have pressed you like that. If if I had it, you never would have bitten your nails. No, I was wrong. Staying locked inside like that, clinging to my good luck charm. Vera. When I opened my eyes and saw you, I finally understood. It's important to be a part of the world. To see things with your own eyes. It looks like that poison had some effect after all. It killed off whatever was holding Vera back from this life. I knew you'd pull through, Vera. I mean, that's what Apollo was fighting the whole time. Your future. I won't forget it. Here, let me thank you. No, really, it's okay. Oh, look at that! Oh, it's adorable! Oh, that's so cool. She drew something other than her um, normal faces. Oh, look, it's, she's even sticking out her tongue. Oh, that's such a cute picture. Oh, look, it's me. I love it. Thanks. Hey, it's me. <laughs> it's the two hair. Is that me? She really captured your essence, Apollo. Well, I think so, at least. That reminds me. Do you know where the other lawyer is? The other lawyer? Oh, you mean Daddy? Except he's not a lawyer anymore. It's my fault, isn't it? I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant. No, it's okay. I'm through looking away from the things I've done. I hope I can look him in the eyes again someday and apologize. I'm sure he'd be happy to hear that. He bought all those things for me when he came to visit earlier. You mean the stack of videos? Mr. Wright finished watching them all? You know, I didn't know my real daddy was still alive. Huh? I was there seven years ago, remember? I was the one who helped him vanish from the courtroom. Oh, that's right! Y you did? What? How? I'm not telling. He promised me that day he went away. We may not meet again for some time to see. But know this, I will be watching, and one day I shall return. You're the next Grimmery, after all. Oh, Trucy. In the end, he couldn't keep that promise, could he? It's okay. Phoenix is my daddy now. Even if he can't really play the piano. Daddy can't. Oh, and I've got you too. Even if your voice is kind of loud sometimes. Glad I made your list. <laughs> hey, come to think of it. Where is daddy? The one who can't play. Do you know Apollo? I think it said that you had to meet someone. Hmm. I wonder. Maybe it's a new mommy. Yeah, that that that's that's probably not far off. Hehe. <laughs> oh, Trucy? Hmm? Yes, Vera? I was wondering, could you show him to me once more? Sir Hat, was it? Oh, he's not been knighted yet. <laughs> Here it goes. Do us an impersonation, Mr. Hat. Hey, it's Mr. Hat. Objection! Aha! Not loud enough. And I like Miss Magic Underwear better anyway. That's Magic Panties Apollo. Can we not go back to the panties, please? 
So, your memory's returned. Mr. Wright? Was this all a part of your plan, too? Bet you anything that's Lamar or Talasa. I don't know what you're talking about. When I lost my memory, I was reborn as Lamoror. Yep. But you knew my true identity, did you not? That is why you chose me as one of your jurists. Ah, uh, you're thinking into it too much. Besides, there was no guarantee that regaining your memory would make you happy. Of course, it is a happy thing. For so long, I thought I was alone. But now I know I have children, two dear children. I'm so proud of them. This too, I think, is thanks to you. Are you going to tell them? They do not know? Nope. They don't know their mother. They don't even know their siblings. I will go to them when the time is right. Until then, I... Don't worry. I'll take care of them for you. They're... They're very important to me, too. Aww. A little annoying at times, but still. I have to keep an eye on her, at least. Because I'm the only one who knows how she really feels on the inside. Aww. Your bracelet. Yes? I've seen a lot of mysterious things these past seven years. But your bracelets were the strangest of all. I remember meeting him half a year ago in Christoph Gavin's office. And then I met you. Two fates destined to intertwine. And I was there when they crossed. I'll never forget that. Ah. Such a small thing, that bullet. Yet it tore who was away. Ten years ago, during a simple rehearsal. It was a miracle no one died. But I didn't survive the accident. That is why I left the troop, my family. <sighs> now my memory has returned. I am myself once more. For the first time, I am glad to be alive, Mr. Wright. Speaking of miracles, Baron Misham regained consciousness this morning. I can only hope she's as glad as you are. It is a strange thing, fate. Sometimes a life is taken. Sometimes a life is spared. You know what I've been thinking? People don't die that easily, really. As long as they've got something worth living for. And that's pretty much the end of my story. Well, for now, anyway. I still got a long way to go in this power mine. Well, it needs some work. But there's hope now. We lost it, but somehow, found it again. That's why people are smiling again. Hope. Yeah, I think I'll keep at this lower thing for a while. <laughs> Oops, training time. Gotta go. What's the deal? Here comes Justice! <laughs> Woohoo! Alright, this is... I'm glad you're staying with the agency, Apollo. It's like... Like I found my long lost big little brother. <laughs> oh, and don't you worry about True Grammary. Tracy's on the case. Now that I have this, thanks to Daddy. Tracy Grammary? Frankly, I got my doubts, but hat Grammary? Now that'll back him in. <laughs> this has been our blind let's play Ace Attorney Apollo Justice. Remaster. Game number one. In the new trilogy. Well, the new trilogy remastered, right? It's not every day you get to tire that box harder than burn my gags, ya. Yeah? That's why it's over. The governors are breaking up. The news caused the running tissues at supermarkets nationwide. <laughs> You're the real stars now. I look forward to our next gem session. I hope so. I want to see him. I want to see him more. He's a great character. And a really interesting guy. Well, it's finally over. You know, thinking about it, I've been a piano player longer than I was a lawyer. Now that everything's sorted and I've got time on my hands, maybe I'll take some lessons. 
Or maybe I'll take the bar exam again. <laughs> Ooh, I, I want to get my thoughts, but because of the, the dialogue in between the credits, if I do, I may miss something. So let me wait until the end of the credits. Uh, who knows? There may be an epilogue as well uh, that we need to do. Hey, it's Ima! So I was sitting around eating sakus the other day, but I got this crazy idea. They say we took the test. What if they were golden? You could augment the clutch, or better yet, make them ding. Ah, the power of science. Although the preservatives might not be 100% safe. <laughs> oh, I want to see you be redeemed. I want to see you take the test again and pass the test. You know what I mean? Because she really, really, really wanted to be a forensic scientist. And, and she's smart enough. She just... Didn't do on a test, that's all. And unlike the event, you are waiting Russian fees. Come to Borscht Belt Club. The only thing closer than Vestat is Borscht. Da! But the greatest challenge is being fired. Then, come to the hideout. You know what to ask for. Haha! <laughs> Whew! This has been a great game. I love how all the cases are so interconnected. I've talked about that before, but I love it when games have connected storylines and not just independent episodes. Hey, look what it is! So, Kentucky Pastries is getting back to its roots. Spread the culture and all. Yo, boss! Culture time! This is how we write the food. Capiche. I was still about giving back to the people. Yo, boss! Pure time! And this is how we write people, alright? Not that Wack is paying any attention. Move, kids! It's like everyone gets a scene, too, which is really, really cool. I just realized that I should have stopped playing like an hour ago, but we just kept going. Bizarre! Chinese characters and cake was a fly idea like 3,000 years ago. Believe that! Man, you wanna make it today? You gotta keep it real, you know what I'm saying? Yo, that's what I made the OG crack for real. I know it don't look like no crackers, G. What, you want me to call it the OG muffin? <laughs> He's wearing the, the, the blue, the blue badger shirt as well, which is kind of funny. I don't know where all this talk about food is coming from. You ask me, it's only one food and that's noodles. Noodles forever. I got a new one too, see? This time, just put a big chunk of salt in the bowl. Why, Patin? Elvis noodles is all about the salt forever! This is a really cool way to do the, the, uh, the, the credits. Like all the characters coming together. My exceptionally exquisite nature has only unequivocal adoration in my department. You see, they used to call me Wesley Stickler and Wesley Sticky Hands. But no longer! I have a new name, one that reflects my true academic nature. Wesley Sickle reporting. Yes, curiosity is a sickness and I am the cure! <laughs> Thank you all for your done. Let us return to my life with a jar. I may have lost yes, but I've gained treasure. Two treasures, in fact. I will think of them when I write my next song. Dang, she is beautiful in that. Holy cow. It's like some sort of Greek goddess. Man. That's... Oh. Russia, Russia, Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. Well, so here, back on the meet with another interview. Eh? How do I feel about how things turned out? 
no scope yet, but journalist confidence and make condition. End quote! <laughs> I decided to keep painting, originals only, of course. I suppose I'll have to see a bit of the world outside to see what to paint. But I know there are good people out there now. I've met them. The door is open. The world is waiting. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Closing shot. Ah. Oh. Turn about succession trophy earned. For completion of episode four of Apologize is turning from its opening chapter. Congrats! You unlocked a special bonus of music and underground setting screen. AJAA commemorative Kazuya Nerdy. Can we go on next game? Yeah, we're going to, but not right now. Um, Ace Attorney, Dual Destinies. Oh, is this gonna be about um Apollo and um Phoenix coming together? I mean, we we have Twin Destinies, I guess. But uh, my name is the Flawless Bird. This is Robbie's Game Channel. This is our blind let's play Ace Attorney Apollo Justice Remaster for the PS5. Let me get my thoughts on the final case. Um, and but first, before I get my thoughts on Final Case, I do want to give a huge shout out to our wonderful, amazing supporters of the channel via Patreon and YouTube membership Zuzulis, Tapas, Chinakuti, Techno Trouble, and Daddy X Dagal. Thank you all for your continued support. If you'd like to join them in supporting that way, links are in the description below. This case, okay, let's talk about this case because in reality, this isn't one case. Let's be honest, this is two cases. This is sort of like the previous games. Where you had a case number four, and the case number four was a short, so to speak. But the case number four set up case number five. And you can't have case number five without case number four. That's what this case kind of did. This case is really two cases in one. It's seven years ago and present. And yes, I know they combined to form one overarching story. But you could say the entire game combined to be one overarching story. So it is hard to evaluate this case when I feel this case kind of cheated by being two actual cases. Um, <laughs> uh, so what do I think of the final case? I think the final case is great. It had me going a lot of different ways. It, it had me curious in a lot of different ways because I didn't know exactly what was happening or what was going on. Um, you know, I, I, I realized the Lamor twist, but I didn't see the Shady Smith twist coming. I, I didn't know how they were connected. I didn't know Christoph Gavin would come back as a villain. I mean, I was I was speculating that would be um, Morgan Fay. Remember Morgan Fay from back, way back in the, the first trilogy? Um, I, I thought it was her. Because I'm trying to think of a villain of someone that really, really hates Phoenix Wright. And I never saw it, it being Kristoff. And the reason I never saw it being Kristoff is because I didn't think... I didn't think the game would have, in four of its cases, two of them were the same killer. I mean, think about that. Two of the cases, the same person killed someone. So out of... All four cases of only three murderers. That's mind blowing. That's insane. Um, it, the, the, ga the game, the series has never done that, I don't think. And uh, someone's going to correct me in the comment section below. I know if I'm wrong about that, but I just thought that was a really, really cool twist that I didn't see coming. How do I feel about the case though? Because I haven't really talked about that. I mean, I talked about the twist. I talked about all that. Um, I really like the uh, the Mason system, and I like how you had to go back in time 
and then back into the present. And he had to use different clues from the past and the present to bring together both stories. I thought that was cool. But I don't know if I like the way it ended. And I'm not saying I don't like the ending. Because I love the ending. I thought this was a great game and it was wonderful. I'm saying I don't know if I like the way this case ended. Because the way the case ended was we have to present decisive evidence. And we don't have it. Because our decisive evidence got taken away by the judge. And then what happened? Oh, this is the jury system. Which means even though we don't have that decisive evidence, it's okay. We don't need decisive evidence because we've convinced the jury and we actually kind of rigged the jury, which is even more messed up if you think about it. Because the Lassa remembered who she was. If she remembered who she was, then there's no way she's going to vote guilty on that because she knows that her son is on the defense, right? I mean, that's got to be collusion there. Yeah, that that, that 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 does seem a little bit devious on Phoenix's part. Um, I mean, did Phoenix become the villain that the game portrayed him to be at the beginning? Forging evidence? I mean, he forged a juror in a sense, right? But I, I don't like how the game kind of robbed me of that moment where I say, here's the evidence that shows everything is true. Take that. We win. You freak out and you lose. The game kind of stole that. And it's not the first time that happened. It happened in the first case, but I didn't mind it in the first case. I thought the first case was excellent. First case, top to bottom, just fantastic. Uh, I, I'm, I, I don't want to give things away because I will be hopefully ranking all the Ace Attorney um, Apollo Justice games. I still need to do the investigation series. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm going to work on that. But... I, I thought the, the, the way it happened in the first case was beautiful. Like, everything in that case was just perfect. And then, in the last case, when they did it to me again... I don't know. I, I just didn't feel like that was as fulfilling. Does that make sense? Because I love this game, and I think it's fantastic. I think it just dropped the ball there at the very end. And what should have been... An incredible case that could easily be considered the best case in the game. That drops it, in my opinion. It's still a great case. It's a lot of fun. It's amazing how they mixed all the stories together. It's amazing how they brought everything full circle. I just didn't like that. Yeah. Uh, one other thing I didn't like, I didn't like the fact that the last didn't tell the kids who she was. Uh, I would have preferred with Trucy being without a father for seven years if the last of would have been like she's been without her her parents her whole life. Well, you could say Flatsburg she had a she had Phoenix. But still the last of could have been like, you know, hey, it's been seven years since I haven't seen my child. You know, I have two beautiful children. I want them to know who I am. And I want you to be a part of our family. You being Phoenix Wright, you know, hey, you know, I'm not taking your kid away from you. But maybe that's why she did it. Maybe she did it because of Phoenix. Like, you know, the two kids have basically formed under Phoenix's wing. And she didn't want to, she didn't want to step in the middle of that. But I still, I still would have liked to have seen a scene where the Lassa, Apollo, and Trucy are hugging each other as a family. You know, the last in the middle, um, Apollo and Trucy are on the right and left, and then them hugging and smiling and waving, you know, saying that, yes, we're a family. Uh, maybe we'll see that in a future Ace Attorney game. Maybe we'll see it in a future Attorney Ace, Ace Attorney game. It's just, I, I really hope we do because it's one of those things where I think I, I really need to see that scene. <laughs> oh, one last thought. One last thought. I know I'm rambling now. One last thought before I go. Where's Maya? Hello? Game? I mean, maybe that's what Phoenix mentioned at the end there. 
that he knows how Trucy feels because something happened to Maya. But where's Maya? I mean, come on, come on. I'm, I, I can't be the only one thinking that. I can't be the only one who thought of that when this game came out and they played it. Where's Maya, right? I, I mean, that's... That, that, I, it, <sighs> we'll wait and find out. I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll find something about that somewhere in the future. Oh boy. Great, great game. What's next? What's next is Professor Layton in the Curious Village, if I can get it working. Um, the idea is that we're going to do Ace Attorney, Phoenix Lightning, Ace Attorney, Phoenix Lightning, Ace Attorney, Phoenix Lightning. Um, and then the crossover between Phoenix Lightning and Ace Attorney. And then we're going to do the two other Ace Attorney games. Uh, those being the, uh, the Great Ace Attorney Collection or something. Uh, I believe it's the one that takes place like 100 years before Ace Attorney. I don't know the details. I just know it's like some sort of distant past prequel or something. But yeah, so that that's the plan of moving forward. Um, I'm going to play Homestuck and probably some other time slots. And uh, I will see you guys again very soon. So if you want more Ace Attorney, don't worry. I'm not leaving Ace Attorney. I'll come back to it. We're going to do a little break first with Professor Layton. And we'll see you again very soon. Until next time, my dear friends. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazingly awesome day. So long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.